Hey guys, yeah. today we will have a look at the new version of Fate from the Geodesics, which got some really interesting updates and already you can see that it even looks different. And let's really start with what is Fate anyway, for the ones who didn't have a chance to use the older version of Fate. So Fate is called an event modifier and what this means is um, that it has the ability to change and modify the incoming signal if it's a sequence, gates, triggers and so on according to the um, probability we set. So in short, Fate will add movement and variation to anything you'll drive through it. And let's really start with the first patch we have here. I have here um, ions, also geodesics. It's sequencing energy with the help of Revin. And it's also going through um, delay and reverb. It sounds like this. A really simple 16 step sequence. But now we can really add um, variation to it with using Fate. So let's put Fate before the quantizer, before um, Revin. And now what we have here, we have two events inputs. So let's send the sequence first through one of them and then send it back from the corresponding output here back to Revin. Now Fate wants to know when to add variation. So let's uh, use our clock and we will send it to the trigger input of Fate, just like this. And again, this will tell Fate when to add variation to the sequence in this case. And now we can choose also the probability of change with the free will knob. So let's put it somewhere, let's say here. And we can choose also the depth of change with the choice depth knob. And this is already new, something new in this uh, version. Um, so to the right, it will add a bipolar signal or bipolar voltage. And we can hear how it adds um, random notes to the sequence. And if we turn the choice depth knob to the left, we will get only positive voltage from the left output, zero to positive five volts, and only negative voltage from the right output, zero to negative five volts. So again, with each trigger, with each incoming trigger, fate will add random voltage to the sequence according to the probability we set and the depth of change, and by that add variation and movement to the sequence. Very nice. Now another feature uh, of Fate, another new feature of this version is the trigger output that will output a signal every time Fate is ending, uh, adding a random signal. And it has two modes and let's have a look at it on the scope. So we can see exactly what's going on. So this is the output. And again, we have two modes. In the first one um, that is on by default, it will output the signal coming in the trigger input. In this case, it's our clock. And again, it will um, output a signal only when Fate is adding this um, randomness, in this case, to our sequence. And we have also a second mode in the right click menu, hold trigger out during step, and it will hold the gate high as long as it's ending randomness. So we can see this. What we get actually are random gates with random lengths. So let's do this, let's use this um, with another oscillator. Let's use the FM operator and use the random gates to gate the FM operator. And I'm leaving it next to the scope so we can see exactly what's going on. Let's turn on its level envelope and also its feedback envelope and open it a bit so the envelope will also um, control the feedback. Let's set a longer attack, maybe something like this and lower the sustain level a bit, just a bit. Very nice. And now let's have a listen to this. We will use also the second, the second sequence from ions directly from the quantizer and let's have a listen. And 
and again we can change the probability so if I take the probability all the way up we will always get a random note so the gate will stay high also you see this here so we can control also the intensity of this voice with the probability knob we can modulate it also through its CV input we can change the depth of change this will affect only the sequence in this case very nice okay let's have a look at another thing we can do with fate okay so here i have a sequence with the addr sequencer and i have plets as a, as a voice it sounds like this very nice a seven step sequence and now i want that every now and then it will play the same sequence but an octave higher so we can use fate to do this let's just put it here before the oscillator and after the quantizer now let's send the signal from the quantizer first through fate and then back to plets we will use our clock to trigger fate so th again this will tell fate when to um, be active to do its uh, magic and now instead of adding random voltage we will use the stack from Bog audio which will look like this i will also just zoom in a bit very nice and now send uh, another copy of the signal from quantum through stack to the second input of fate and take it one octave up and now by raising the probability the sequences will change or will switch oh yeah and we get once the original sequence and once an octave higher version of it oh yeah and again if we only want fate to switch between the signals we should make sure that the choice of depth knob is at zero so here in the center it's zero otherwise it will add also random voltage now if we have a look at the scope we can see that we have two different two different sequences because they are uh, operating individually so here it will um, um, switch differently than one it uh, than how it switches in the from the second output so let's use this to have to sequence another voice and i will use basil from volt and also slap also volt let's already send this to the mixer to another channel and as our gates we will use the um, gate output from quantum to trigger slap and the sequence we will take from the second sequence of fate oh yeah so we have another voice with a slightly different sequence you can see this also here on the scope you can even turn the probability to the center now this doesn't have to stop with sequences we can also use this to switch between two different voices so let's add the chronoblob 2 from all right devices and i will use another plateau also let's set both to 100 wet we don't need the dry signal for now let's change also plateau a bit close the diffuse maybe less decay but larger size something like this let's sync the delay also with our clock and add another fate very nice now we can also um, modulate the delay time with sample and hold the delay time of the uh, delay i mean uh, we'll use the one from bog audio and what we'll do we will use the signal output or the trigger output of fate to trigger the sample and hold so whenever the voices will switch 
the delay time will be modulated so let's just make sure it's negative positive 5 volts something like this and change this here now let's trigger this fate again with our clock and again this will tell fate when to switch between the voices randomly of course let's use the signals from the delay and from the reverb and send plats to the delay and to the reverb very nice now let's send this to another channel and I will solo it so we can have a listen and raise the probability change the time modulation mode Very nice. So now you can see that Fate, in this case, is acting as sort of a Bernoulli gate. So when the probability knob is all the way to the left, we will get just the signal coming out of Corner Blob. And when it's all the way to the right, to the right it will come out only from Plateau. But somewhere in the center we will have sort of 50-50 and it will randomly switch between them. And every time it's switching between them, the sample and hold is also being triggered. So let's listen to everything together. Oh yeah. Very nice. Okay, now Fate will also work without anything going to its inputs. So if we trigger Fate and I will use again the clock and we have a look at the scope and I will connect both sequences, we can see that when I'm raising the probability and the choice depth knob, we start getting random sequences to different signals. And again, the probability will control how much of this uh, sequence will happen, of this randomness will happen. So we can control the density of the sequence and we will see this soon enough. So let's add um, a couple of voices. We will use two FM operators, again, Borg Audio. And let's use again Revin as our quantizer, set a nice scale, something new that I've never used. <laughs> and let's send the signals from fate through the quantizer to the fm operators let's also turn the level envelope and set a nice snappy envelope maybe we'll zoom in a bit something like this and now what we will do we will use the trigger output of fate to trigger them so every time there is a new note it will also trigger the FM operators. And let's have a listen, have some delay here and some reverb. Oh yeah. And again, with the probability knob, we can set the um, density of the sequence. So I can have less note, and you can see this also here on the scope. Or I can have more notes. Of course, we can control this also with voltage. And again, here I have it, uh, the choice of depth turned to the right. So it will um, output a bipolar signal, a bipolar sequence. If I take it to the left, if I turn it to the left, the left output will output only positive voltage. So one, the pitch of one FM operator will only go up and the pitch of the second FM operator will only go down. Let's leave it at bipolar. And now we can use also the same signal to modulate their feedback amount. So 
So the higher notes will be brighter. change the density oh yeah very nice okay now we can also use fate as a sort of a bit crusher so here we have entropia sequencing the Voldemar oscillator it sounds like this Very nice, and we can add some grit to it um, with fate. So let's send this first to fate to one input of fate, and we will use the square output to trigger fate at audio rate frequencies. And let's send fate to the mixer. And now, still nothing is happening, and this is because the inputs of fate are normaled. Um, so we have to break this connection and what we can do we can just use a uh, simple mult I will use the one let's say from Bog Audio and then connect the second um, input to the mult and now this connection is broken the mult is a sort of a dummy cable if you will and now with raising the probability knob we can have this bit crushing effect oh yeah And it's getting really interesting when using a different oscillator to trigger um, fate again in uh, audio rate frequencies. So let's use a different oscillator. Oh yeah. Oh man, we can modulate also the probability with another sequencer. We can use the ADDR for example. So let's do something like this. Clock it with our clock. Let's change this to 0 to 10 volts and randomize it. Until we get something nice. Let's do. Oh yeah. Oh man. Okay, very nice. That was it. There's a lot to explore with this module. Um, like always, there will be a link in the description to the different patches. Feel free to download them and take a closer look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you enjoy what I do, consider becoming a Patreon. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell. And have a good one.